a frantic expression upon their faces. It looked like their frantic faces expressed the words, why, why, why? Then I saw that these individuals took their black guns out of their holsters and they placed their weapons upon the floor. Then the last thing I gazed upon were a couple of young school kids looking out the window of this school. I distinctively took notice of a little girl who looked Hispanic. She wore a school uniform. She was looking up into the sky and she began to sing a hymn. Then the other kids who were also looking out the window above her also began to sing along with the young Hispanic girl. Then the armed men in their classroom fired upon the kids singing and while fired upon the kids while they were singing uh, uh, and looking out the window at the same time. I awakened from this dream feeling perplexed and angry. This particular dream gave me a powerful mind dream that lasted until the next day. I was really disturbed in this dream. Like I said, these, these men came in this elementary school. Uh, with, I didn't sense any motive. They just came to school, closed the school doors that were on the ground floor. Teachers seen these people coming into the building. The teachers closed the uh, classroom door and I guess the men inside the school uh, spoke to the law enforcement that were outside and made some probably ridiculous uh, ransom or whatever. And uh, the cops couldn't uh, be quick enough with whatever ransom uh, these uh, bad guys uh, asked for. Uh, and since they couldn't receive the ransom, I guess what they asked for, they decided to shoot the kid. So I think these guys came into school uh, just to uh, commit a suicide mission where they would take out the kids in the school and take themselves out uh, as well or allow them to be taken out uh, when law enforcement comes into the school and, you know, kill these uh, mass uh, individuals. And it kind of reminded me of an incident that took place in Russia, I think some way back, a couple years back, maybe maybe eight years ago, where a school was seized by Muslims, and, uh, and the uh, KGB came in or whatever and it killed these uh, individuals to seize a, a school. No, that's not right. A school was seized somewhere in Russia and the people that seized the school killed I think around 200 uh, kids in that school. Like I said, it was a long time ago. Okay. The next number in this piece is the number 5. This piece is called Section 10, One Storm Dream or S10 1 S T R M D in the month of May 25th 2010 I recorded this dream inside my dream book today I dreamt that I was inside a met metropolitan area or city I sensed I was inside an American city most likely the clouds above me were very big and very great then my eyes focus upon spiral dark and gray clouds. Uh, these particular clouds might have uh, been one of two. Uh, these 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 clouds were spherical, and I might have seen uh, two or three of them, which were like hurricanes. Uh, uh, they were formed like hurricanes, but not hurricanes that people would see uh, in the sky or like uh, weathermen would see uh, these hurricanes forming uh, in the clouds uh, through satellites as in space. But these particular storm clouds or whatever they were, uh, were like nearly vertical in the sky and they were swirling around and the sky or the clouds behind these particular uh, spherical hurricane or ver vertical hurricane type uh, cloud, uh, they were heavy, dark, uh, dense clouds behind these uh, vertical, uh, spiral, weird looking, you know, for lack of a better word, uh, you know, hurricane cloud formations. 
Then after I took notice of these spiral clouds in the sky, I began to see uh, people run for cover. And I also noticed that uh, people were running, uh, not per se because of seeing the spiral vertical hurricane like uh, clouds formation in the sky, but they were running from uh, goblets or rain, they very golden globs of uh, uh, drops of these things that look like rain. They were coming out from the sky and they were gold in color or kind of like a dirty brown and they were very big. These individual droplets were very big. Anyhow, I have a drawing of what I see in this particular dream. Okay, as you see, these clouds were more or less like vertically and there's nothing but dense, dark, muggy, foggy like clouds behind these spherical objects. And after I took notice of these spherical objects, I uh, see gobs of golden like raindrops, just goblets of them, and people were running uh, from these uh, big rain droplets. Uh, that could have been uh, tainted with uh, deadly um, uh, material, you know, in this liquid form. The next number in this piece is the number seven. This piece is called Section 10, 5 Sun Dream, or S105 SND. In the month of June 4th, 2010, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. Today, I dreamt that I was in my house on Halsey Street. I was downstairs on the ground floor. I seen my oldest nephew inside this home. Uh, he walked into the hallway and I quickly took notice of his face. His face was disformed. His bottom lip and upper lip side, uh, he had like blisters on his face. And then uh, he did not say a word to me, even though he was even though he was heading towards my direction. He showed no uh, no type of pain. In fact, he appeared impervious to what was going on with his face, and he also had blisters or sores or whatever on top of his head as well. Then he stopped from walking towards me, and then he turned back around towards. Of the house front or the front part of the house that leads outside. Then I spotted something on the back of his head. It appeared to me that he had a huge bump on the back of his head. Or it might have been a big cyst or blister. Then his mother walked through the front door and she said that she's going to take him to the emergency. Then the next thing that I seen inside this dream was that I spotted people walking around outside. The people before me appeared uh, to uh, be busy, busying themselves with their daily uh, chores, their daily uh, schedules. They were more or less minding their business as they was walking to and fro on the street outside. It was a very nice day out. I believe it might have been late spring or early summer. The atmosphere around me was very pleasant. It felt very, I felt very happy and content. I believe I was wearing a short sleeve shirt or I might have been wearing a long sleeve shirt that was rolled up to my elbows. The sky above me was light blue. The next thing that happened in this dream was that I decided to go up on the roof of my house. Now I believe I was at Halsey Street or I might have even been at Ashes Street. I briefly seen my father and mother uh, with me in, in this house, whether I was at Halsey Street or Ashes Street, but they were in this particular house I was in. And um, so, so I headed towards a ladder that would lead me up to the roof of my house. I climbed the ladder and I opened the roof door. I did not completely exit upon the roof 
I just allowed my legs to stand on the ladder while my upper torso was uh, leveled out on the roof surface. I looked around the roof and immediately I noticed the sun stationed to the left side of the sky. And then I took notice of the moon which stood on the lower right side of the sky. The sky was a little gray out. And then I seen something black moving towards the lower right side of the sun. Then I looked at the moon and I also beheld something approaching the moon. Lower right side. I'm not sure if the moon was a full moon or almost a half a moon. Then I turned my attention away from the sun and moon so that I could shout down below these words are we supposed to have an eclipse and does the moon supposed to go into an eclipse of its own no one downstairs uh, you know uh, answer me back or answer my question then I took my eyes back on the sun and moon the dark objects that were eclipsing the sun and moon simultaneously were almost uh, nearly the size of the sun and the moon. I guess from my uh, vantage point made these black things in the sky look almost like the same size of the sun and moon. The next thing I seen in this dream was now I did not see the dark spheres anymore. I just seen our sun and our moon. Then the upper left hand side of the sun exploded violently. The explosion I seen coming off the sun's upper left hand corner were black. Then the sky above me appeared to slightly ripple and the earth below me vibrated for about one second. Then I heard an explosive sound and this uh, the sound I heard uh, sounded like a muffled boom boom. Then the sky above me became flooded with black or very dark meteors that came in many sizes. I quickly climbed back down the ladder. I then seen my father and mother moving left to right and right to left. They looked terribly frightened. They did not know what direction they could flee to. I felt numbed. Then my father and mother both told me simultaneously, you are right. You are a prophet. You talked about these things. I said nothing to them as they spouted to me that I was right about these things. Then the last thing that took place inside this dream was that I was witnessing white people and black people running everywhere so they could avoid being hit by the multitudes of rocks, fragments that were flying down from the sky and most of the dark rock fragments were zipping across the gray sky. Now the atmosphere of the streets were flooded with pandemonium. Then I spotted which I believe a large rectangular object about the size of a small car for towards an automobile that had a white lady standing on top of it and it has several I mean several il illustrations of what I see in this particular dream okay so the first thing like I said in this dream I see my nephew coming inside the house okay and this is what he looked like in the front he had blisters on the top of his head up there down here as well. Then when he turned around, I seen blisters or whatever they were on the back of his uh, head and on top of his head. 